make sure we yeah and you and you you just read sin but you're gonna read this article and you're not gonna hear anything about it but go ahead and read it should i read it yeah yeah we can go back and forth you want to read a little bit yeah let me let me go ahead yeah you're a good reader so let me read let me uh blow this up so i can see it here can you see it okay you can't see it on the screen Tony Evans oh. steps away, ministry citing old fence. So it's not current, it's old. First African-American to have both study Bible and a full Bible commentary bearing his name said he will submit to biblical standards. Biblical? I just read the biblical standard. They're not fulfilling the biblical standard. We don't even know what the sin is. We hear that he sinned. What's the, what's the old sin? That you're now going to have him step down. Is this a way for him to retire, going to retirement? I don't know. Of repentance and restoration. Keep going. Where is this? Is Tony Evans big time? Is there more? I can't. I, don't, I can't move it up. So you're gonna have to. Move. I got it. Tony Evans, you gotta go down a little bit. You, can you, you scroll down? You want me to scroll more down? I you know uh, up or down so I can read. Is my my elder Kabir is blocking it? I can't see. You can't see. What do you mean? Right there, right there, right there. So, no, right there. Right. I don't know if you see what I Are see. You, it must be delayed here. No, no, no. Elder Kabir, you, 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 is a, there's a thing here on my end. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. You, you, you're probably looking at the back office. I'm here reading what everybody else. Can you see that? I'm looking. Yeah, because right I have to, stop, stop yeah. right there. Just stop. Yep. Okay. Tony Evans, longtime leader of the Dallas mega church. I told you he's a mega church. Best selling author has announced he is stepping back from his ministry due to sin. The wages of sin is what? The transgression of the law, right? Committed a year, committed years ago. I bet you. I bet you this happened to when his wife, when she died in 2019, maybe 2018. I mean, when you're dealing with cancer, I don't know if it was quick or long, if she was battling. I'm assuming he couldn't get none. So what is he supposed to do? She can't, she can't serve him. She's getting chemotherapy. So now he has needs. He has sexual, a seven-year-old man, he's still in good shape. He has needs. So maybe he got his needs fulfilled while she was still alive. That could be a sin. I'm just curious. So some of you guys, what do you think it was? What, what, I mean, what, what, if you guys had to guess, what do you think a Christian pastor of this type of magnitude, magnitude of this, this caliber of a Christian, he's well respecting the Christian community. What do you think it could have been that he has to step down? Let me keep reading. The foundation of our ministry has always been our commitment to the word of God. God. Let me say it, God. As the absolute supreme standard of truth to which we are conform, conform our lives. Evan said in June 9th statement to his uh, Oak, Cleave, Oak Cleave Bible Fellowship Church that was posted on its website. So this was even put on the website. When we fall short of the standard due to sin, we are required to repent and restore our relationship with God. A number of years ago, oh, 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 a number of years ago, how? We don't know. We don't even know how many years. Was it 20 years? Was it 10 years? Was it three years? Was it four years? See, we don't even know what years over there. We can even speculate even to get our speculation to be more accurate. Why leave us in, in mystery? Let us know what it is so that we don't make, we don't fall short. A number of years ago, I fell short of the standard. So was you perfect this whole time? Maybe. I don't know. But it's a lawless religion. I am therefore required to apply the same biblical standard of repentance and restorations to myself that I have applied to others. Maybe he was shacking up with his current wife now. He, he remarried to another woman who lost her husband. She's a widow. They're both widows. So maybe they both was consoling each other. Maybe he was giving her counseling that when her husband's going through what she's going through and he's going through what he's going through. And then they kind of had a soul tie. And they fell in love. She's a doctor. He's a doctor. And you know what I'm saying? They're going through it. You know, they go through. She's coming to him for counseling. And maybe you can relate. And they probably relating. And then before you know it, boom, they end up in the bed or something. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this is my. Hey, hey, hey. I wanna, what, 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 they, what they call this stuff? What they call this stuff? Uh, notification. Uh, uh, what's disclaimer, it disclaimer. Disclaimer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speculating because this is a big name. I would like to know so that I don't commit the same thing. This is a well-respected man, very respected. His record is pretty clean. And now he's coming out. This is a big, this is a big hit on the Christian community. I'm telling Christian, 
Christianity is falling apart, especially the Protestants. I mean, the, 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 the Catholics have been falling apart with their pedophilia and stuff that they've been doing. But man, this is a big hit. Just focus on the family. What's Focus Family going to do now? Are they going to start taking all of his commentary books, his Bible, Bible study? Is that all going to go now? You have the, uh, what's his name? Um, Benny Hinn. He, he's coming out saying that he policed the people or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, Benny Hinn, yeah. Benny Hinn. You got T.D. Jakes. Quefo Dollar. I mean, what, what's going on? Evans. What is this? Evans 74 was not. Listen, I guess I'm not making this stuff up. It says Evans 74 was not specific about his actions, but said they were not criminal. So, okay, we can cancel anything that would be criminal. You can't put homosexual is still up for debate. He could be in practice. Maybe, maybe he got comfortable with a little, little man and little man start just rubbing him the right way. So that's still in play. Because it, that's not a criminal offense. You can practice homosexual in this country, and it's not criminal. You see, you see what I'm, you, you see my my logic here, Deacon. Yeah. So that's still in play. It could have been he had sex. He's shacking up. You know. Maybe he got with the girl, the woman that he's married to. Now I, we don't know. See, he's not Pacific, and this is what this is where I think he's wrong. This is where I feel that the church is wrong because they should be telling the people what it is. So that they fear. We hear now. Where's the fear? While I have committed no crime, I did not use righteous judgment in my actions. Oh, this is serious. He said, in light of this, I am stepping away from my pastoral duties and I'm submitting to the healing and restoration process established by the elders. Evans is the founder of the Christian Bible teaching. He's the founder, the founder. See, they try to make this look like, oh, it's honorable. Look what he's doing. He's stepping down. He's submitted to established by the elders. Evans, the founder of the Christian Bible teaching ministry, the Urban Alternative, has led the congregation for more than 40 years. 40 years and has a radio broadcast. Is that broadcast coming to an end? Is it over? The Alternative with Tony Evans. That is carried on Hundreds of radios outlets across the globe. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a big, this is a big hit. An additional statement on the website of a predominantly black non-denominational. See, I told you, black non-denominational church. I know I see I didn't even have to read this article to know who we're talking about. Maybe for some of you guys that don't know, said that Evans made an announcement about stepping away from his senior pastoral duties during both the congregation service on what Sabbath? Is that what it says on there? Sabbath? Nope, Sunday. What does it say on there? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm scared. The day I, the sun. I keep the Sabbath. I just assumed it was a Sabbath service. Sorry, both congregation service on Sunday. This difficult decision. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's keeping the Shabbat from a Christian perspective. Maybe he decided to start keeping the Shabbat. Maybe he kept the Shabbat one time, and that's what got him in trouble. He had to step down. Hey, man, we heard that you were a Judaizer, and, and and because of that, we got we we got to we got to smack your hands. So maybe he slipped in a Shabbat or two. And maybe that's why he's in trouble. We, we don't know. Additional statements. Of, where am I? Oh, this is a difficult decision that was made after tremendous prayer. I don't know who they're praying to. Multiple meetings with Dr. Evans and the church elders. The other statements reads, the elder board is obligated to govern the church in accordance to the scriptures. I wonder who the uh, the beneficial owner of that church is. I mean, maybe the tax assessor can ask for that. But anyway, Dr. Evans and the elders agreed that when and the elder or pastor falls short of a high standard of scripture, the elders are responsible for providing accountability and maintaining integrity in the church. The second statement said, uh, lead associate pastor of fellowship, Bobby Gibson. I guess Bobby Gibson is the next, man, he must be perfect or something. I wonder if he's a pork eating man. Bobby and the church elders will provide more details about future steps concerning interim leadership. Evans noted in his statements that he had shared this development with his family. Maybe one of his, one of his wife already knows. And the church elders who, he said, have a loving place, have lovingly placed their arms of grace around him. Evans' wife of 49 years, Lois. Okay, see, she was 49. They were married for 49 years. Died in 2019. He, he remarried in November. He remarried in November. And the church announced his marriage to the former Clara, Clara Crumby, 
in December, introducing her as Mrs. Claire Evans. So you did all that just to now have to step down from sin that happened before this marriage. Tony Evans is the first African-American to have both study the Bible, have a study Bible, meaning he has a study Bible, and full Bible commentary bearing his name has called others to be accountable. In 2021, in an interview with the Religion News, he spoke on how he corrected gospel mus uh, musician Kirk Franklin, who didn't apologize of the obscenity-laced audio that was released by Franklin's oldest son after the two had an argument. Evans said that the time that Franklin was both challenged and corrected for, uh, corrected for that. And that's part of the accountability that every man needs in his life. Oof. And now, now the pastor told the congregation that he is entering a period of spiritual recovery and healing. Man, I, I would like to know, like, this seems deep. Like, man, he's going to recovery. For what? What 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 sin took out this great Christian giant? During this season, I will be worshiper like you, he said. Man, but time out, this is sin. I mean, should should he be excommunicated? Maybe not. I don't know. We, we don't even know what it is, guys. Did he commit adultery? That's not illegal. That's not a criminal offense. Maybe he slept with another man's wife. Maybe he killed the guy. Maybe he put the pill over the the the, the his uh his new wife uh. Uh, with a husband that passed away. Maybe he was part, I don't know, guys, but that's criminal. So he can't do that. It's murder. So, <laughs> I, 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 guys, I'm here just trying to just figure out what, I'm like, I'm trying to wrap my head. What did Tony Evans do wrong? I know what I did wrong in Christianity. I kept the Shabbat. I wanted to keep the Shabbat. And I wanted to go visit Straightway Truth Ministry. That was enough to be excommunicated from the Christian church. How many people believe that wanted to keep the Shabbat and going to visit straightway. Let's just say visit straight. How many of you guys put on this? How many will say that visiting straightway is a sin? Yes or no? Can you put a, can you put a poll up? Yep. During this season, I will be a worshiper like you. He said, I would never, I have never loved you more than I have loved you right now. I am trusting God to walk, walk me through this valley. Tony Evans brings up mixed emotions of remarriage after loss. His engagement announcement reflects a complicated of grief celebration that Christian experience with second marriages. Wow. Utterly amazing. 